Hello, everybody. I'm Steve Lentini, and I'm your host for the podcast, Different Thinking, for different times. Today, I have a guest, a very special guest, Brian Crittenden. Is that how you say it? Can you pronounce that it is, for us? That is that great. great. Yep, yep. Crittenden. 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 Okay, so Ryan is a PhD, and he's a coach, an executive coach, and I believe you're the CEO, right? You have an well, when you're a one-man one shop, shop, you're huh? CEO, CEO, right? <laughs> <laughs> so he's the CEO of XL Coaching and Development. And when I read his uh, his bio and the work he's doing, I said, yes, he needs to be a guest because different thinking for different times is about rising above that voice in our head that tells us we're less than or we're not worthy or has us thinking about our failures, where we fell down, our mistakes, instead of celebrating, not knowing. And you get up when you learn something in a failure and you grow. So with that, I want Ryan to tell us about his background and what fascinated him about the work and what got him to the work. And then we'll go into some other questions. So Ryan, start there. Welcome. Yeah, yeah Steve. Steve. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for, for having, having me. me. I'm, I'm glad, glad to be, to be here, here with you today. today. Um, um, yeah, yeah, so coaching so started when I, when I was transitioning out of, out of the army. army. I served, served from, from 2010, 2010 to 2014, and I knew and I, I wanted to be a better, better leader. leader. And, and somewhere, somewhere along, along the way, way kind of like, like you, you, I got, I got connected, connected with John, with John Maxwell, Maxwell and his, and his team, team and, and really, really fell, fell in love, love actually with coaching. coaching. I went there to become a better leader, better speaker, and end up loving coaching. So I started implementing that into my leadership, my leadership roles, roles and, and uh, I just started seeing some really, some really great, great success. success. But, unfortunately, but unfortunately in that, that this one particular one leadership role, role I, experienced I experienced a lot of burnout. burnout. So I ended, I ended up stepping, stepping away, away. Um, and, actually and actually moved away. away. And, and I got I reconnected, reconnected with a friend of mine who had started, started a coaching, coaching company, company based on strengths. strengths. And I thought this was really interesting. Uh, um, so I took, I took the Gallup Clifton, Clifton Strengths Strength Assessment, Assessment and, and learned that I was, I was awesome. awesome. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I learned I that who I wasn't, wasn't too. too. That was that the was great the thing great about thing the assessment. assessment. And, and so, so from, from there, there started, started this journey of, of trying to rise above, above that, that uh, acorn, acorn brain, brain we're talking about. about. Um, Some people may even call that the imposter. And so... Yeah, it yeah, started this journey, journey where, where I've, I've now, now been, been able to help, to help hun, hun, over 100 people, people at, at least, least. Know, and know and understand, understand their strengths, strengths being, being able to work, work with teams and, and organizations, organizations, rise above their goals, goals maybe, maybe enjoy, enjoy their, their job a little, little bit more, more help, help leaders succeed. succeed. Um, so it's been a ton of fun. Yeah, I, I bet it has been. So are you the, you're around then, I'm assuming, long enough to see some of the changes in their lives. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the, great the great part, part is, is um, you know, a lot, know, of, a people lot of people don't, don't have an awareness of, of what their actual, actual strengths, strengths are. are. And, and so, so through, through my coaching, coaching process, process, I'm out to help them under, under, uh, understand uh, their strengths, strengths understand, understand who they're, they're not, not, and uh, able to really uh, yeah. see some growth, some growth on that and help them set great expectations for themselves. Yeah, strength-based coaching. Didn't Gallup partner with a guy that wrote a book about it and had his own assessment? I forget. I um, read the book and took the assessment. Yeah, yeah born, born to, to build, build maybe, maybe is what you were maybe. talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have the book here somewhere. I'd have to go find it, but we're not going to take a break and go do that, right? Right. People <laughs> wouldn't want to watch me searching through the library. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned discovering their strengths and then learning about the places that they really don't have a strength. And how has that impacted people? I wanted to start with that part of it, right? Learning the opposite about themselves. Yeah. yeah you know, in, you my, know, in experience, my experience, when I started, when I, started, when I first, when I first got, got coached in my own my strengths, own strengths um, um, when, I, we when I looked, looked at, at the assessment, assessment you know, it, it ranks, ranks one through 34. Through 34. Mm -hmm. um, I realized I always got, got hired for my top five. Mm -hmm. but, but which is, which is totally, totally me, me. Mm -hmm. but, but my bosses, bosses and my leaders, leaders wanted, wanted me to be in the, in the my bottom, bottom five, five. And, and 
which was which a weird was a dynamic because what I learned was, was I don't have any potential, potential growth in that, that bottom, bottom area. area. All, All my potential, potential growth is in the top. In the top. Um, I'm, just I'm just not, not wired, wired for that. For that. Um, um, so when so I'm when helping, helping, when I'm able to help, help people understand where, where their potential areas, areas of growth are, are um, they really, really start, start to see, to see a, number, a number, huge, huge amount, amount of growth. Of growth. Um, um, and uh, it's, it's just, just a, a, it's, it's a lot, lot of fun. fun. <laughs> so would you say that the leaders are hiring people because they're threatened by the top five strengths that they see in people? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I yeah, think I when think it comes to hiring, hiring, I think people, I think people see, see, you know, when, you they're, know, when looking they're looking at hiring someone, someone they, they see their top, top or, or they kind of just know instinctively that this is what we want. want. But when, when people, people get, get hired, hired, it's like, like okay, okay, now, now you, you actually, actually need to do this. this. <laughs> <laughs> that must be costly to companies, right? Not allowing people to use their strengths. Yeah, I can't remember what the... What the, what the exact, exact number, number is, is but, but when you, you really, really leverage, leverage people's, people's strengths, strengths and who they are, are you know, you, you could have, have 30, 30 times, times X, X um, than, than if, you if you were just trying, trying to shove, shove that, that square, square peg, peg through a round hole. hole. Sure. <laughs> sure. It's kind of like um, leaders being reminded to delegate that it might take a little bit of training. It might take 15 hours of training, but if you take times 30 X, how much free time would they get? Right, right, totally. Right? <laughs> to do other things that might be a match for their strengths. So um, what do people, how do they feel when they discover things they're not strong about and they finally know it and they can say things, you know, what, what happens when they discover freedom? Freedom. freedom. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, my, my, that's my, my first thought. thought. Um, um, there's almost, almost like, like that, that weight, weight comes, comes off. off. And, and when they when can they say, say, yeah, yeah this, this is, is not, not me. me. Like, like I can, I can, I can do, do the, the job, job, but this, this is the way, way I want to do it, it. Um, in my in strengths. My strengths. Yeah. Um, and when they're able to communicate, communicate why, why that is, is and why they are not going to approach it a different, different way, way. Like, like their, their bottom, bottom part, part. Uh, uh, there's, there's just, just a lot, lot of freedom, freedom. and opens, opens up that lines of communication between the leader and their employee. Yeah. So it's that, that comment, um, when you're discussing about them discovering the places that they're not strong in, reminds me of what William Urey said, how to say no in the power of a positive no. Mm. No, boss, I wouldn't be able to say yes to that, but let me tell you why. Or I wouldn't be able to say yes to that doing it myself. I might have to delegate this project and get some help with it. Would you mind? It's not really one of my strengths. Is that what, you help, what you're helping people with? Because then there's communicating, right? What they are really naturally there to do as opposed to the weaknesses. Yeah. yeah so, so yeah, I yeah, think there's, there's a few, a few different, different things. things. So kind of what kind you, of what said, you are said are definitely, definitely strategies, strategies of delegating, delegating to someone else, someone maybe, else maybe finding find someone, someone as a partner. partner. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then some, some of it could it just be, be um, like for an for example, example, I had a boss who said, I don't, if you're, if you're not competitive, not competitive I, don't I don't want that, that type of person, person on my, on my team. team. Well, if well, we're, if we're looking, looking at the Clifton Strengths, Strengths assessment, assessment, my number, number 34, 34 is competition. competition. But uh, my number, my number two, two is maximizer. maximizer. So meaning, so meaning I'm, not I'm not competitive necessarily, necessarily outwardly, outwardly. I'm competitive, competitive inward. inward. So it's so let's, let's redefine, redefine what, you what you mean by competitive, competitive. or let's or clarify. So some of it is... I'm not going to do, do it this, this way, way, but I can, I can do, do it this other, this other way. way. Right. And, and so, so leveraging the strength, strength you already have, have or partnering, or partnering with someone, someone that has that a strength that you don't, that you don't have. have. Yeah. Yeah. So w when you're thinking about your coaching, and I noticed too, you have online courses. What, mm -hmm. is, the, what is the approach? Uh, you know, that you use and how do you use the online courses? What's, what's the way that you get uh, help people get that message inside their own heads? Because that's where I see the resistance with people. Sometimes they're that they, they say things like I can, or that's not me. So how do you, how do you help people advance like that? Yeah. So yeah, the first thing, thing I, do I do when I start when off I start with a client, client is I have a strengths foundation, foundation uh, coaching, coaching course. course. 
um, where we're, we're going to be, be really, really slow, slow and systematic, and systematic but, it's but it's still personalized, personalized to you, where we're, we're going to identify, identify your signature, signature talents. talents. Those, Those are you all, all the time. time. We're going to identify your supporting, your supporting talents, talents. Um, things, things that you that can, can, you can do. do. And we're going to identify, identify your non-pattern, non-pattern talents. talents. And those, and those are, are who you're who just, you're not, just not, wired not wired to be. So once, so once we, we go, go through, through that, that process, process it's, it's slow and it's intentional, intentional but it's, but it's, it's deep, deep also. also. Yeah. And we're and really, really able to able get, get in, in and, talk and talk about your strength, strength talk about how you're wired. wired. So, so at, at the end of it, you really fully know who you are and who you're not that way. And then I say talents because a talent is what you turn into a strength. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then how do they handle who they're not wired to be when they discover that? I I picked up on that what you just said. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's also, also just, just as important because then, then, like, like my, my previous, previous jobs, jobs, I didn't I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have, have the, language the language to say, language to say like, like why, why are you, are you having, having these expectations, expectations on me? me? Other, Other than, than saying, saying this is not who I am. I just I didn't have anything to point to. Other, Other than, than this, this is not who I am. am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do you work with companies? Because it sounds like uh, Jim Collins, good to great, like getting people on the right seat. That sometimes people, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes companies hire someone to fill a job instead of looking at what are their strengths. So do you, how do you help companies with that? Yeah. yeah so, so I, I love, love working with teams. teams. It's, it's usually a manager. manager. Um, um, or a leader of a team, team. Could, be could be regional, regional managers, managers that I've had experience with, and they have teams. teams. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and we just, everybody, everybody goes, goes through the Strengths Foundation process. process. Mm-hmm. So then when, so then we, when we, we go into a team event, event and, and we, we pull, pull up everybody's, everybody's you know, you know, profile, profile, they're like, like oh, oh, that makes a lot of sense. That This is what you do really great. Yeah, that makes sense. This is not who you are. So everybody's speaking a common language, and everybody can create a common goal based on that. So how do they get to the Strength Foundations? How do they find you? How do people find you? Yeah. yeah. So, so my website, my website is, is xlcoaching.net. Um, so, the so the letters, letters XL, XL think extra, extra large, large. Uh, coaching. <laughs> that's not that's what not it stands, stands for. for. Um, um, so, so that's, that's the, the first, first kind of entry where you can book a book call, call with me straight on my calendar from the website. And what do you do? What's the first call like? Is that something that is is discovery for both people? How does that? What's that like for people? Yeah, yeah it, is it is discovery, discovery for, for both. both. We're gonna, We're gonna look at, at what you want to accomplish in coaching, coaching understanding, understanding your strengths, strengths, what you want to improve, improve. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then I'll share, share kind, of kind of a strategy, strategy I think might work, work for you. For you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then they decide. And then we and both, then we decide. both decide. We kind of. I kind, I kind of just leave it, it open as it's, it's just a conversation. Just a conversation. Maybe, maybe we both, we both don't, don't connect with each other, other and that's, that's totally, totally fine. fine. Mm-hmm. Or, maybe or maybe I know another coach that, that may connect, connect with you better. Sure, sure. It's very similar to what my own process has been over the years, mm-hmm. helping people uh, buy, right? I wrote a book about it. So mm. xlcoaching.net? .net, dot net. Yep. yep. And it's coaching. Yep. yep. Okay, xlcoaching.net. I want... I want people to get that and not forget it. So it's like repeating a name three times. Maybe you'll remember it. Yeah. Excelcoaching.net. Okay. So when you think about some of the things that you've achieved with your clients, maybe even in your own life, what are some things that stand out that really kind of give you that reinforcement, like an energy, like this is mine to do. I know I'm doing Mm. what's mine to do. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's great. great. Um, I think I one of my, my favorite, favorite stories is I worked with a team, team of small executives, uh, uh, young, young, young executives, there were three, four on the team. team. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and uh, during, during the, the team, team event, event, the CEO and the, and the COO, COO switched switch roles. Role. Um, um, and so, so kind of how this happened was, you know, we all went through Strengths Foundations. When they started looking at their strengths and they really had a conversation, they had a a common language, they said, the CEO was like, I think I, I don't like this role. And the CEO was like, 
I think I, I, agree. I agree. I don't, I don't like, like this role, role either. either. And, and they looked, they looked at their strengths, strengths and everybody's like, like, you guys need to switch roles. Unfortunately, unfortunately they were, they were you, know, you know, small, small enough, enough to where they could do that pretty easily. And they actually started to grow and have a lot more success. It was neat to see. Wow. That must have impacted the culture at the company as well, right? It really, it really did. did. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the former, former CEO, CEO had, had, had the vision, vision had the, the, the charisma and personality of a leader of a, leader of a company, company, and it just and it made just sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I, I would say that's a confirmation of you're in the right. You're in the right. This is your purpose in life. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, so, and talking about purpose, do you find that once people understand their strengths, does that help them discover new careers? And and tell tell us about that. Yeah, it, yeah, definitely, it definitely can. can. Um, um, in, my in my personal experience, experience that, that leadership role that, role that I was, I was talking, talking about, about that I ended up getting, getting burnt out. out. Um, um, there's an there's extent to where, where I still, I still do, do it. it. Mm-hmm. I just don't. Do, I, don't I, do I do it differently. differently. Mm-hmm. So some so of it is maybe is just maybe tweaking and realigning your goals, goals and vision, vision, but it could but be, it the be the same type of thing. thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but then at but the then same at the time, same I've, had I've had clients, clients that are like, that are like man, based, based on my strengths, strengths, I need to do something completely different. But everybody's everybody has a different story and a different journey when it comes to work and even kind of personal life. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you and I were talking before the show for some background, you mentioned Maxwell Coaching. Are you part of the mm-hmm. Maxwell organization? Yeah, yeah so, so I got, I got certified, certified in, in 2016. 2016. Okay. All right. Yep. I think that's the year I joined. Oh, right. 2016. Yeah. I went to the August, August event. event. Oh, okay. Um, I forget what, what uh, well, there's there's August and then there's uh, the February or March, right? March. Something, Something like that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember doing uh, a Zoom one during COVID, and John said something like, uh, well, we're all full of shit. And he said, oh, did I say shit? <laughs> and he said, and it's recorded. He said, you know what? We've all got to get over ourselves. That's right. And and um, does finding out what they're not strong at, does that help them get over themselves? I mean, are they fighting themselves when they're when – they're, uh, languishing in in weaknesses and making themselves wrong i mean mm. what happens yeah, yeah that's, that's a, a that's a great, that's a great question. question and, and i think my, my initial, initial thought, thought was your title of your podcast, podcast different, different thinking for different, different times, times. Um, um, that when, when self awareness happens, happens you start, you start to think, think different. different yeah um, um so a lot, a lot of it is, is you know, we you know, just we live, live in this, in this world, world where people, people are not self-aware of who they are. are. Um, and then, and then, then, they, then they need to be affirmed, affirmed of who they are. are. Mm-hmm. So we are we missing, were missing this self-awareness and affirmation in our society. society. Mm-hmm. So, so when, a, when, a, when an when individual, individual, when I figured, when I figured it, mine out, I stopped beating, beating myself up. Yeah. When I Like I said earlier, when I found out that I was awesome, really started to change my thinking. Yeah, yeah. We're here to make mistakes. Why else would this be such yeah. a struggle? <laughs> totally. And the and great the thing is when you when you make the you know when you make mistakes and you're aware of who you are, it's like it really does become that learning opportunity. But if you don't know who you are and you make a mistake, you know, you just start. At least for me, I start. I beat myself up all the time. Yeah, yeah. And when I just realize, like, here's what I can contribute. I started, I started to, grow. to grow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like people when they're when they really aren't self aware and even aware more so of what their strengths are and they're spending time maybe in the wrong job fighting. Mm-hmm. Uh something Eckhart Tolle says, when you fight life, life fights you. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because we're in the wrong spot <laughs> and we're not focusing on our strengths. Yeah. Yeah. So that must be fascinating work when you help people realize they've been living from the outside in, right? Waiting for the world to say, hey, you're a good person. When to your point, it's us that has to say we're awesome, right? I'm an yeah. awesome person. <laughs> yeah, I got mistakes, right? They seem like good ideas at the time. 
right. right. Not everything <laughs> works out. So uh, do you have people that, that uh, have found that, right? That they were now living from the awesome, which is a decision in most yep. cases. Yep. Do people have to wait for, for, for outside accolades to know they're awesome? Or do you find that's true that they, if they make the decision, things change? Yeah, once yeah, they start, start making, making the decision, the decision things, things can start, start to change, change. and you and can, can actually start, start to self-affirm. Self um, and I think and those I think are those the, the, that's, that's a, the, an important thing to remember. to remember. So how do you help them self-affirm? Yeah. yeah. During, 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 during our, our coaching, coaching um, um, we, we just talk about, the great thing about strengths is it's talking about what's right with you. Mm. Um, and, and none of the none strengths, of the strengths in, the in the assessment, assessment are, are are bad, bad or, good. or good. They're neutral. They're neutral. So it's mm -hmm. really how how are how you are approaching you your strengths? How are you approaching your life? Your life? Mm -hmm. Sounds like the old Sufi tale. Maybe good, mm -hmm. maybe bad. Who knows? <laughs> yep. Yep. It's all it's how all you how decide, you decide to, use to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, how? When you think about the number of clients, right, that you have, and why don't you, I think you told me beforehand when we were getting background, how long have you been doing this? Yes, yeah, so yeah, I've been so doing, doing uh, strengths, uh, strengths coaching, coaching specifically, specifically um, six, six years, years. Mm -hmm. um, coaching, coaching in general, in general for eight. For eight. Mm -hmm. And w you did have some stories about people that have discovered amazing things about themselves. What about for you? What, what some are some amazing things that you discovered about yourself? Yeah, yeah. Um, man, yeah, it, was so it was so much. When, when I started, started diving, diving into strengths, strengths, it was life changing. Life -changing. Um, um, I always, always kind of knew, knew I was, I was uh, uh, like a like forward thinking. thinking. I don't want to necessarily, necessarily say visionary, visionary, but at least yeah, someone that was always out dreaming. Out of the box thinker. Yeah, I'd yeah like to, like, at least like to think that, or maybe I have a really big box. I don't know, but. When I was when able I was to put words, words to it, it and, and, and understand, understand why, why I have, have to position, position my desk so I can look out the window, window or, or why, why I always, I always think, think of multiple, multiple ways, ways. Um, um, like that made a lot, made a lot of sense. sense. Mm -hmm. But what was, what was really great, great was when, was when I started, under, started to understand, understand my relationship building strengths of how I connect with people. And that was... That was that so was impactful because so I, like, I was like, this, this is what's is been, been missing, missing in all in my all jobs. Because um, I love connecting, love connecting with people, people, but I don't, I don't you know, I didn't, didn't want to do, um, um, you know, I don't want to be that, that com competitive, competitive person, person. Mm -hmm. beating, other beating other people, people down. down. It's like, no, like, no, like how, can how can I build, I build the, team? the team? Yeah. Well, um, power over versus power with. Mm. Um, and uh, that was uh, Mar uh, Parker Follett. I forget her first name. I should I should know it because I have I have her books, mm. and I'm constantly quoting her. I think it's Mary Parker Follett. Sounds, uh, sounds right. And that was in the early 1900s that she was proposing this to leaders. And of course, leaders were, and many still are. And they, you know, you're competing. It's dog eat dog, and you're going to climb over people to get where you're going. Power over. And she, mm -hmm. in the early 1900s, she was talking about power with, it was Peter Collins who finally, uh, in 1995, she was long dead, that was finally acknowledging her work and bring it in his work to leadership yeah. about power with. And that sounds like what you're talking about. Totally. Like, like we, we don't, don't, we don't, we don't grow, grow our, our strengths. strengths. We, don't we don't grow, grow ourselves, ourselves on silos. silos. Mm -hmm. Say that like again. We grow in, we grow in yeah, we don't, yeah, we grow, don't in grow in silos. silos. Right. Like we like grow, we in, grow community. in community. Right. I want you to repeat that mm -hmm. for people. Right. Yeah. 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 That it's okay to get help. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. And yeah. yeah and, you know, you Steve, know, Steve, like we like need, each, need other. each other. Right. Like I want to help you grow or you're going to help me grow. And it's just important that we have a tribe or a community, whatever you want to call it, that understands who I am and who I am not. I understand, I understand who, who you, you are, are and who you're, you're not. not. Well, then we can enroll people to help us and not mm -hmm. beat ourselves up for it. Well, that's not a strength of mine. Hey, can you help me with this? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So do you, in your work, have you um, 
had people come to that discovery and then call you back and say, hey, I just invited somebody to help me. And it's been amazing collaboration. Have you had some of those stories? Oh, that, oh, that happens. happens. Um, um, and it could even just be as simple as, I think I, think I understand my wife better. better. Or I understand or my, my husband, husband better. better. Yeah. Uh, or I understand, I understand why I've always, always been doing this. That's and a I'm great able place to... to learn, right? Right. Right. Home, right. right. Yeah. yeah in, every, in, every, in every way, way um, um, I see people in their jobs, their jobs um, start, start loving it a little bit more, more start, start accomplishing, accomplishing goals. goals. Um, you know, and you I, know, even I even had a neat experience, experience one time. time I, before, before I dove into strengths, I was asking my best friend, like, he was talking about career transitions. And I was like, what do you dream about? Mm-hmm. And uh, was, what do you mean? I was like, what do you like? What do you daydream about? What do you think about when you look out the window? That's a great question. And uh, he goes, I don't know. I think about like racing my car and, and you know, spending donuts in the. And I was like, okay. Um, but then what I learned is that I'm a that futuristic is a strength. But that was not one of his. So what I learned also was. He's, He's not, not wired, wired that way. way. So, my so my questions, questions fell on deaf ears. ears. Mm -hmm. But he was, he was learning. learning. He's, He's number, number one, one is a learner. learner. Mm -hmm. So I, had, so I had, needed to ask him, what are you learning that wants to push you forward? forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, and that, that, that kind of question, question really changed, changed the world for him. So um, daydreaming wasn't a fit for him. He didn't understand that then. Yeah, yep. but it but does for me. Right. Um, um, yeah, yeah, so, it, so it, when you understand, understand how, how each other's other wired, wired, you can ask each other better questions. questions. Yeah. Well, that would be mm -hmm. very impactful in a company. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, um, when you think of companies, how often is it that they're not even talking about strengths? I, I I don't know, right? I, I I don't know that companies even have those conversations very often. They're they're like you said, hiring people in a silo. Your job mm -hmm. is to do X, and my stay in your lane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, that, I got one, that quite one quite a bit. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, some, some companies, companies are. are a lot of them are, are um, or, they, or they they use, they use strengths, strengths as they, they hey we we, we, talk we talk about, about it, it we took the assessment. assessment. And then, and then there we, there go. we go. But they don't. They, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't, never, never hired, hired a, coach. a coach. Never, never hired, hired someone, someone actually to actually help them implement, implement a strength, a strength strategy. strategy. Mm -hmm. um, um, and that's where I'm seeing a lot is, is, is they just, they take, just the take the assessment, the assessment. And, that's and that's great. great. Even, Even taking, taking the assessment and talking about it is better than nothing. But to really get great results, you want to hire an experienced strengths coach that can actually help you implement it into your team. So. Say more about that. Does that mean they share each other's uh, assessments? And yeah, so what, my strengths. And... Yeah, what, yeah, I, what I, see I see a lot is they may, they take, may a take a lunch, lunch or, take or take a morning, morning and, they and, they and, they and, and they just talk about, about it themselves. They read it, share it. it. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, we did we strengths. Did strengths. Well, that's well, not, that's not you can go deeper. You can go, you can go stronger. You can develop more of a plan to actually leverage someone's strengths other than just talking about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what does that take, like, for companies to really get serious about it? Um, um, like, I, I, think I think for anybody, anybody take some pain, pain points. points. What's, what's the What's the, what's the reason, reason you need, you need to, start to start implementing strengths? Are you not are you accomplishing, not accomplishing your goals? Your goals? Mm -hmm. um, um, are you are having, you, having um, you, know, you know, people resigning, resigning at, at mass, mass numbers? numbers. You know, is your turnover and retention rate, rate just terrible? terrible. What, are what are you trying to trying accomplish? To accomplish? And, then and then let's implement, implement a plan, plan of strengths strength to, accomplish to accomplish those goals. Mm. I think if, if people were were not aware of it, right, not aware of one's strengths or weaknesses, might even be department leaders having turf wars, not realizing that what they're <laughs> doing is opposing each other naturally, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're both got the same strengths and they want to be like, well, this is my department, so you stay out. Yeah, yeah and, and kind of like, kind I, was like I was saying, saying too, like when, when we, um, we grow in community, community, when it becomes, it becomes a... a a common, a common mission, mission and a common goal, goal and, it's and it's based, based on a common, common understanding, understanding of who each other are, are. Mm -hmm. you just see those, those walls, walls coming down. down. 
Yeah, that made me uh, picture. Maybe I'm a daydreamer, but that made mm-hmm. me picture saying in a in a team conversation, or maybe it's an executive conversation, it, an executive leadership meeting, where they say, "You know, that sounds like Mary's strength. Mm-hmm. Like we get mm-hmm. Mary in on this call, or get Mary in on our next meeting." Do you find that happening, where people are actually finally reflecting on the strengths of people on their team? Yeah, I yeah, start to see, to see that, that when there's, when there's that, that true engagement, engagement and strength. And, strength. Mm-hmm. and when and they're when like, they're hey, like, let's, let's really, really focus, focus on, on who's the best fit, fit for what we're, what we're trying, trying to accomplish. accomplish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, see it all, see all the time. The time. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you have a podcast? I don't, I don't have, have a podcast, podcast at this time. time. Is that a strength? So I did have one. Mm-hmm. And, and my number, my number two, two, one of my one favorite of my strengths, strengths is maximizer. maximizer. Mm-hmm. But, everything but everything is about, about excellence. excellence. Mm-hmm. And, and so, so I, I, I had, a decision, had a decision to shut, to shut it down, down right now because, because it was not excellent. excellent. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when so I can, when make, I can it make it excellent, excellent we'll get we'll it back, get it back up, up and running. running. Yeah, well, um, I wrote the book, You Might Be Full of Shit If, and and I'm not making anyone wrong in it, but... When I first wrote it, uh, Amazon wouldn't let me advertise it. So the next weekend I wrote, you might be full of number two. After all, we know better, the woke edition. And I'm not making fun of being woke or not. What I'm, what the dialogue is in the books is about we've lost that privilege of having a dialogue. Because mm-hmm. uh, when you think of a monologue, that's, that's a story one tells oneself. That's the definition of it in Webster's. Mm-hmm. The definition of a dialogue is a jointly created reality. If we understand each other's strengths and weaknesses, it's a lot easier to have a jointly created reality. Yeah. Mm. So I think that um, your work is encouraging people to do that. And then mm-hmm. as far as the podcast, right, it's the acorn brain that wants us to be excellent and perfect. By the way, when I wrote those two books, I didn't care what people thought. It's fascinating, the people that have purchased them. Uh, I no longer care. Uh, I have a friend who's taken 25 years to write a book, and he's still working on it. And he said to me the other day, how is it that you do it? And I said, I just don't care. I use Grammarly. I have had you. I have used editors. But I don't care about perfection anymore. And so I'm going to encourage you right here, right? Mm-hmm. That, that I think uh, a strength, if you're a maximizer, that says to me that you help people get the most out of themselves. Right, you, right. You increase their personal productivity, the way they look at their life, and then the way they go about their life, their career, their jobs, even at home, based on a strength. Yeah, so yeah, I should, I should say, say there's, there's a little bit more, more to why I don't have one right now. now. But, but yeah, yeah, you're exactly, exactly right. right. There, there is that aspect, aspect of um, um, being excellent and striving, and striving for, perfection. for perfection. So, so excellent, excellent will get, will get, you, get going, you going. Yeah. And you can, you can refine and go along, along the way. way. Yeah. Perfection Actually, could, could just keep you stuck. Yeah. Well, that's why I want to encourage you. I think the message is needed. It was one of the reasons Mm -hmm. that you're a guest on my podcast. And I've been doing this for five years. And uh, if, 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 if it's based on the amount of revenue I make from the podcast here, I'll share with everybody what it is. Actually, no, I'm lying. It was $27.99 accrued the last time I looked in five years. Right on. (laughs) (laughs) And it's fascinating, though, that there's been thousands of listeners and The Mm -hmm. last time I looked, which was a few weeks ago, and I put up the last episode, it was uh, 23 countries where people Mm. had peeked in and looked. So for me, it's kind of like the book when I write them. Uh, People, people that are uh, coaches will will slap me. Here's my here's my downfall. Sometimes is I I'm not looking to have a New York Times bestseller. Mm -hmm. Um. I've pictured it. I've put it on a, a, a vision board, right? I, 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 I whited out the New York Times bestsellers list. And in number one, I put one of my, my book titles. Uh, I retyped it in. But I'm happy if one person opens mm. that book and says, this was meant for me. 
And by the Absolutely. way, thankfully, that's Amazon with KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing, has made that gift uh, for millions of people, right, that have, that have published mm. books. I think that um, the podcast is the same idea. If one or two or three people get it at the end of every episode, uh, I don't know how you'd feel at the, putting your head on the pillow at night knowing somebody is going to go maybe reach out to you or or do their own strength-based assessment wherever they find it, right? Yep, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So can you say for, without a doubt, that this has changed your life forever? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I, was I was living, living in, in weakness, weakness living, living in, in trying, trying to, to please, please other people. people. And, and when I understood, I understood my strengths, my strengths man, yeah, I, I want, not, not only do I do, I do great, great more, more at work, work mm -hmm. Great more. great more. That's, that's great. great. That's, that's the, the best way. Best way. Um, um, but my life more, is great, yeah, a great, lot more. more. Yeah, great productivity. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. all that all great, great stuff. stuff. But, but uh, uh, man, yeah, my, my life has just been a lot, lot better. better. Yeah. So, yeah. what would you say to people who are thinking about this right now because of the dialogue we're having? We're jointly creating a new reality for people, a new possibility. Mm -hmm. So, what would you say to people who are thinking about? I think maybe what you just said about your own life, right? Where you were and then how it helps you shift. So yeah, if, yeah, I'd say, I'd let's, say let's, let's, let's connect, connect and, have and have a conversation. conversation. So yeah. again, say some of the things that you, that you realized where you were living mm. right before this. Yeah, yeah before, 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 before strength, strength, I was, I was burnt, burnt out. out. I, was I was focused, focused on, on being, being someone, someone I was I not. Was um, people trying pleasing, to please other you people, said, huh? yeah. yeah, and and, um, um, and now and I'm now just I'm confident, confident of who, of who I, am I am and what, and what I can I contribute. contribute. And so, uh, overall, my, my life, life is, better. is better. So, if people out there listening are feeling burned out, are feeling like they're they're running around being a people pleaser, and they 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 feel stuck, like they haven't even acknowledged who they are, or that the world hasn't. Mm. It's really in the shift that Ryan's talking about yep. yep, is discovering your strengths, then celebrating them and then proudly living in them and discovering then that you're awesome. Like Ryan is. Yep. yep absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> All right. So to leave people with a message, what do you want to leave people with besides you will say your website again, but start with what you want people to, what you want to leave them with this thought. Yeah, yeah. So, so think, think different. different. So, so raise, raise your, your awareness, awareness affirm, self-affirm self of who you are is, is great, great, and show, and show up confidently, confidently and, and do great every day. day. Yeah. How do they affirm that greatness in them? Yeah. yeah. For, me, For personally, me personally, it was understanding, understanding that, that it's okay to daydream. daydream. If you're, if you're a, daydream, a daydreamer, it's okay, it's okay to, to want to do things well. well. And uh, yeah. it's okay, okay to take, take ownership, ownership of what you, what you love, love and what you what commit you to. to. Um, those, those are great, great things, things and, and you are uniquely, uniquely you and nobody else, else could ever be you. Be you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I find some people get stuck in believing they can't do what they want to do while they're doing mm -hmm. what they need to do. And, and I would suggest that they, that's a great way to start. Find your strengths. Get in touch with Ryan. And then you can do it and your day job and this mm -hmm. and start to bring what you're learning with Ryan to your day job and see what happens. Because when we change, things change. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, it and it starts, starts with how, with how, we're, we're, how, we're, how thinking. we're thinking. Okay. And to reach Ryan, it's xlcoaching.net. Yep. Yep. Like extra large. I love how you did that, Ryan. Extra large. XLcoaching.net. And then um, what's your email? So my email, my email is Ryan, R-Y-A-N, at XLcoaching.net. That's easy. Yep. Ryan at XLcoaching.net. And we're going to say it again. Ryan, and we're going to say it slow. It's R-Y-A-N, coaching.net. For those people that 
are more uh, kinesthetic. They really need to like to see a piece of paper, and that's okay. Yep. We want to help you, so we'll go slow. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And and uh, sometimes I need that help. By the mm -hmm. way. All right, Ryan. I am grateful. Grateful that we met, and I think that we should continue our conversations about ways we can help each other. Because uh, I'm 72, so. I'm counting down. Most of my audience is counting up. They're much younger than, <laughs> than I am. And they all know that I also had a near-death experience 22 mm -hmm. years ago. So every day's the World Series for me. I get up and go, oh, I'm on this side. Okay. The yeah. next side is pretty mm -hmm. good too, folks. I don't wish mm -hmm. that on anybody, but if we all had a peak, we wouldn't be so petty. Mm -hmm. And we're supposed to make mistakes here. And that we're awesome, like Ryan says no mm. matter what that the mistakes are part of our growth if we can finally come to that place hey this was part of me becoming awesome and that is a journey so mm. ryan crittenden thank you very much it's xlcoaching.net get in touch with ryan and if you want to email him it's ryan at xlcoaching.net i'm grateful that we got this time to share the only thing I'll leave you with too, Ryan, is leave your window open so that it downloads. I like to remind my guests because Riverside has that little that little wrinkle that if the other side shuts off, then we won't see the end of Ryan's, uh, and we might mm. not even see the whole track. So I want to make sure people get to see and hear your message because I think you are awesome. Well, thank, well, thank you for, you having, for having me. And, and Steve, you are you awesome. Are awesome. Uh, thank you. I'm grateful. All right, Ryan. Be well. You also, you also. Thank, you Thank you very much. much. You're welcome.